Monday evening. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, end of day session, 22nd of June 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from uh, uh, the uh, leading providers, and uh, also visit www.tradesignal.com. You could download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the actual uh, European market numbers. Let's see where the markets closed, the stats for the day. Uh, kind of a strange day today. Uh, the FTSE finishing <clears throat> and down eight points at 7440, although it was down at 7400 at one point before it recovered. The German DAX certainly was down as well, but initially, uh, eventually uh, finished but around the 12800 zone, around 12800, uh, 12794 to be precise. The French CAC finished up seven points, although it was uh, suppressed and subjugated to a large uh, extent until we got the uh, solid uh, economic growth project uh, projections for the Eurozone. IBEX and Eurostox certainly both under pressure as well. Okay, so uh, in terms of fundamentals, let's go through the actual uh, fundamentals with you folks, okay, chronologically, uh, with regards to today. Asian markets overnight, we obviously uh, had a lackluster performance there. The Shanghai Nikkei all certainly uh, feeling the pinch. In terms of European uh, data today, it was it's certainly kick-started with the uh, French Business Climate Index coming in slightly weaker, and then Economic Bulletin actually coming in stronger than expected, and the projections there as well for the Eurozone certainly stronger than expected. Really, it was the UK that was, uh, was a major concern. Uh, jobless claims out of the US came in slightly uh, higher than expected, although Going forward, it certainly bodes well. Uh, continuing jobless claims as well. Uh, retail sales out of the US came in much stronger. Sorry, out of Canada came in stronger than expected, so it bodes well for the North American market. Housing price index came in stronger than expected, so again, certainly a good sign in terms of house prices and demand there. Okay, in terms of consumer confidence for the Eurozone, certainly coming in stronger than expected and the Kansas Fed uh, manufacturing activity coming in stronger. We had BOE, Forbes, uh, certainly a hawky slant there, and hence the reason why the FTSE certainly under pressure after hours. So certainly one to uh, to keep an eye out there. Okay, so Eurozone economic data or economic projections certainly raised, and certainly a bullish move there, especially with regards to Mr. Schauble's uh, uh, fiscal stimulus comments yesterday as well, certainly helping to a large extent. Now let's bring up the German DAX here, okay, German DAX in a daily chart, bouncing off that key diagonal trend line, uh, looking at the 60 minute chart here, we've certainly bounced off that key support at 12700, we're certainly capped at this key resistance here, diagonal trend, or horizontal uh, gap feel at 12815, hitting a pivot higher of 12807, okay, so again, keep an eye out for this. Uh, one of the uh, patterns that we certainly need to keep an eye out for is this potential H&S. Now this one is certainly concerning, okay, you've got a double top in play, left shoulder, head, uh, again if you do start to flush then you're certainly bringing in the support zones, and you have that gap filled below at 12.050, so certainly some cause for concern going forward, let's see how the market plays out, okay. Uh, 10 minute chart at present on the German DAX, again you're looking at resistance here in this juncture, again horizontal resistance and then gap fill at 12.815. If we start to pay push higher, then you are looking at uh, key resistance zones here uh, in terms of the uh, the actual market itself. Okay, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, uh, horizontal support at 12710, uh, gap fill resistance at 12815. That's basically where we are into for the German DAX. In terms of the French CAC, let's start off with the bird's eye view as always, daily chart at the moment. It's certainly bouncing off this support, although you do have that unfilled gap at 5080. Uh, so sorry 5050 so be mindful of that okay you have this uh, bottoming tail that certainly seems to be holding thus far let's see how that unfolds 60 minute chart the french CAC certainly hasn't been under pressure due to mr macron's aides or his so-called fellow party members quitting we've had three major uh, party members quit this week so again it certainly raises doubt and suspicion with regards to his ability to govern uh, going forward and whether or not he can actually pass, to, pass through those much needed reforms so We'll see how that unfolds, okay? But for now, you're looking at gap fill resistance at 5290. Certainly looking capped here on the French CAC, okay? Gap, gap fill below as well, 5220. So we're certainly oscillating between the gaps, okay? So that's something certainly to keep an eye out for. 10 minute chart, again, like I said, you have double top resistance. So again, looking for risk aversion to kick in, okay? So the market's certainly looking to be subdued, okay? 
Uh, if we do flush lower, then you do have uh, previous resistance equals support here, horizontal support and horizontal support. So that's key, your key support zones. Okay, let's move on to the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 certainly subdued due to the uh, situation with regards to the DUP. Uh, the ongoing concerns with regards to the DUP going forward uh, is certainly a major concern. Okay, uh, we certainly did slam into gap fill towards the uh, session's end, which is quite interesting. Okay, uh, certainly did slam into that gap fill zone. Okay, so again, you're looking at gap fill for now. If we continue to push higher, then you're looking at 7470 and then looking at 7460 as a key resistance. Okay, you're looking at double bottom at 7400. The daily chart certainly is looking to hold and uh, grasp onto this key uh, zone here, which you're looking at, which is uh, 7410. So certainly looking for that to hold, okay? 7410 and then obviously 7390. If that cracks, then certainly uh, looking very, very bearish going forward for my interpretation, okay? For the FTSE 100. 60 minute chart, let's see where we are. 60 minute chart, again, you're looking at potential support being retested at 7380. Um, and you're still in lower lows, lower highs, so therefore the, the bears certainly have control on the FTSE 100. So bear that in mind, okay? Interesting. Bears in control, bear that in mind. <laughs> okay, either way, uh, you're, you're certainly held 38%, and you're looking at a lower high. And let's see if we can actually hold that uh, retest at 7400 now on the FTSE 100 going forward. And these are your key respective resistance zones. Okie dokie, I think that's uh, a good summation really for the rest of the day. Uh, be sure to visit uh, cfds.com uh, for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.